Good morning, people, and welcome to Royer's Corner. Listen, one thing that gets under my damn skin is somebody that's always whining and complaining about they was bullied as a kid, and, you know, they had a hard childhood, and they didn't grow up with, you know, their mama and daddy around, so they just got all of these issues, but they want to fix it, and they want to be a better person, and then when it's time to be a better person, when it's time to act like you got some common sense, and when it's time to treat others the way you want to be treated, then you want to kick everybody ass and you want to show out and you just want to be a complete butthole. You know what? Who am I talking about? Jocelyn Hernandez and the fight that she picked with Amber Rose on College Hill Celebrity Edition. Y'all, I am sick of her. Jocelyn specifically. Let's get into this intro and then we're going to talk about this story. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Saturday and welcome to Royer's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm so glad that you decided to join me again on this great Saturday. Please remember as you are coming in the building to hit the like button on this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel as we have officially made it to our thousand subscribers. Woo! I appreciate y'all so much. Well, listen, let's get into this conversation because I'm over it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. Jocelyn, we've been dealing with you since the early 2000s, honey. We had you on uh, um, um, Loving Hip Hop Atlanta. You acted a daggone fool on there. You were so out of control. They took you off the show. You know, we, 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 we've had you. Where else have we had jo Jocelyn's Cabaret on the Zeus Network? And that was a whole situation. I think that only had one or two seasons. And now here you are on College Hill Celebrity Edition Season 2, and you're still picking fights with the people and bullying them. And in my opinion, it's coming off as bullying because you had an issue with New York and her daughter. You know, you told her that, you know, she was completely wrong for telling you that her, da her daughter passed away. But, you know, you can't tell people what kind of relationship they can have with their animals. That was her daughter, her daughter, as she said. You can't, you can't control her and tell her how to feel. Then you try to kick Parker out of the room that y'all was sharing. She tried to come to you and knock on the door and talk to you. And then when we had a, a group discussion about it, then you're going to put her out the room. Now here you are with Amber Rose picking a fight because you claim that she wants to be white and she don't want to be black. Let's get into this story, y'all, because this is a hot mess, a hot mess, Okay. So College Hill, Jocelyn Hernandez accuses Amber Rose of wanting to be a white girl. Y'all, this is just like, why did that, why was that even your concern? And, and, and so let me pre preference this conversation by this. They were having a conversation in class about racial views, racial discussion, you know, just, you know, and we all know that is a very sensitive topic. It's a sensitive topic, a sensitive subject. And so it must be dealt with sensitively. And the things that we say about it, it must be kind and courteous and thoughtful. You got to think before you speak when you're having these types of conversations, okay? So an apparent brawl took place on College Hill Celebrity Edition Season 2 after the Puerto Rican princess accused Mother Rosebud of wanting to be Caucasian. Jocelyn said, I dog walked that bitch, excuse my language, y'all, said the reality star who claimed to be the winner of the fight. Now, Jocelyn has been beating up the people for years, y'all. I could show you so many fights, uh, or I don't want to say she's been beating up, but she has been fighting the people for years. I could show y'all a numerous of fights that Jocelyn has been in and she started them. A hot mess, okay? Now, um, Jocelyn Hernandez and Amber Rose are currently trending after a chaotic and censored, um, what's that? Uh, scuff, 
scruffle on BET's Plus show that took place in an Alabama State University classroom. Now, it wasn't like y'all was at home. It wasn't like y'all was outside. Y'all were in class in front of the professor. And the professor lost control. She couldn't even gain control back of Jocelyn because Jocelyn just was just spewing stuff out of her mouth, just to talking, just to saying stuff like the professor couldn't even get control of you. You disrespected the professor and you disrespected the learning environment disruptively out of control. So if you don't know, here's Jocelyn Hernandez, the Puerto Rican princess. Here is Amber Rose. And both of them, in my opinion, kind of come from the same background, come from the same world. So I would think that they have more alike than they have not alike. But that's just my thought, my opinion, okay? So uh, source, uh, I don't want to read that, okay? The two were apparently discussing racial identity before Jocelyn accused Amber, who is biracial, of really wanting to be a white girl. So this is the conversation, y'all. I tried to play the video earlier. YouTube strike me down for it. So I'm just going to tell you what happened. And I'm going to put the link in the description box so y'all can see the video, okay? So Jocelyn, stop identifying me, said Amber in a confessional before hands were thrown. I identify myself and I'll let you know who that is. At one point, Amber noticed that Jocelyn commented about her whiteness, uh, commented about whiteies, excuse me, and looked her way to which the Puerto Rican princess scuffed before calling her overly sensitive. If you gonna check me, then check me, said Jocelyn, while Amber insisted that she was checking her and now on checking her now on the spot. You know what your problem is, said Jocelyn. Your problem is that you really want to be a white girl. Jocelyn added before alleging that Amber Rose is conflicting her blackness. An irritated Amber then got up and appeared to open hand slap Jocelyn amid screams on, uh, on, and an on-screen message then appeared that read, out of respect for all parties involved, we, cho we have chosen not to show this fight. College Hill and ASU do not condone violence of any kind. So, y'all, here's the little fight. If you feel like I say... Um, I'm going I'm to cue it up real quick to where everything kind of broke out. So this is where, you know, they were having a little issue. Here's the professor. Amber, you know, professor's trying to gain control. Amber loses it at this point. And then this is when all of that breaks out, okay? So I'm just going to stop it there. Um, and I will put this in the description box so that y'all can go check that out. So um, whew, this was a, it was a lot, y'all. Like that whole argument conversation, my opinion, it was so unnecessary for Jocelyn to even like, you didn't have to involve Amber in this specific discussion. We're having a group class conversation. And for you to try to single out an individual by looking in their direction or pointing them out, it was just out of out of pocket, out of line. But that's just my view. Y'all watch the video, listen to what happened, and then leave in the comment section your thoughts and opinions. And y'all know I always go back and read the comments and respond. So we'll keep the conversation going. While the fight of the footage remains to be unseen, Jocelyn Hernandez previously said that she won the battle. Now, uh, social media is noting that on a recent episode of Drink Champs, Jocelyn told uh, Nord that she put someone's head through the glass during uh, the during a literature literature class at ASU. How you gonna attack the attacker? Asked Jocelyn. Man, I dog walked that thing. Okay. So here you'll see the picture. This is the video of Jocelyn explaining the situation. Okay. Amber has since spoken out on the moment, um, and she. Uh, is reiterating a comment she made about not fitting in a space for biracial women, okay? So here's what Amber had to say on her social media. She says, oh, stop, go back. Biracial person, I'm black. People, you don't know the black experience. Shut up. Biracial person, I'm white. People, you're black. Shut up. Biracial person, I'm mixed. People, pick a side. And this is so true, y'all. I have really seen this in real life where, you know, biracial people just, they don't have a side to fall on. So they end up stuck, you know, trying to pick, oh, well, I'm supposed to be this. I'm supposed to be that. And this that was, that was a perfect example. I don't know if you ever watched this show 
mixed ish. Or uh, um, and and that was a spinoff of blackish. And so y'all check that out if you've never seen that. You can find that on Hulu, ABC, all of those good shows. Okay. So you know, th this is. You know, here we go again. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, you want to go there? Wait, Let me see. There she go. Cry, baby, cry, baby, cry, baby. Cry, baby, cry, baby, cry, baby, cry. Why are you antagonizing this girl? Why do you keep attacking it? You have attacked literally every female in the house, Jocelyn. Every female. This bully vibe, this bully energy, I'm not with it. I am not with it at all. I, I really dislike you know, everything that has gone down, you know, with this whole situation, because this is supposed to be about building up. College Hill is supposed to be uplifting. We're showing that, you know, our celebrities are going back to build themselves up to, you know, make a name, maybe a different name for themselves. You know, they're trying to learn. They're trying to get this certificate so that they can become, you know, more than who they are. And the fact that Jocelyn has literally every step of the way, found a way to have an issue with someone, I can't. Earlier this month or last month, I did a video with her and Tiffany, you know, getting into it about the, the, the dogger situation like I talked about earlier. You, you put Parker out of the room because you kept locking her out of the room. Literally, you have had an issue with everybody this season, every female, literally. When is the buck going to stop? When are you going to realize that you're the problem? When are you going to realize that you're bullying people? When are you going to realize that Jocelyn needs to look at the man in the mirror? Hmm. Y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. Are you shocked by this Jocelyn's behavior? You know, was Amber Rose wrong for attacking Jocelyn? Could the teacher have done, the professor done something more? Could the housemates have done something more? Y'all, let me know down in the comment section your thoughts and opinions so we can keep the conversation going. Hit the like button on this video. And if you are not a subscriber, check my channel out. Check out Royer's World. If you like what we got going on over here, hit that subscribe button. And once you subscribe, hit that notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. And then also... Thank you to my thousand subscribers. I appreciate the love and support so much. Y'all have been amazing to me. Just as much as um, y'all have blessed, uh, just as much as I have blessed y'all, excuse me, just as much as I have been a blessing to you all, know that you guys are truly a blessing to me. I appreciate you watching my content, hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel. And I just am so excited, the up, 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 up in a way that we are getting ready to go. I love y'all. Join me this afternoon at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on the Juice Radio and Talk Show for an afternoon of a conversation and a discussion on love. I'll see y'all then at noon. And until then, y'all have a great rest of your day. Love you. Bye.